with Southampton in the third round of the League Cup. And Saints looking to build on their very encouraging performance at Newport County in the last round and their hugely encouraging performance against Manchester City in the Premier League last Saturday. Just playing neatly as they go back. Well, that's a good spin and turn from Burke. And he feeds McBurney, tried to square it. Lianco intercepted it on the slide and it goes out on the far side for another Sheffield United throw. That was dangerous in the box. Yeah, and this it happens because Romeo misses kind of his tackles and then the, the midfield is out of play and uh, he, shouldn't have, he shouldn't have tried to pass it. He should have had a shot to move. Yeah, okay. I agree. Now, down the right-hand side, Vogel's got forward. This is dangerous. Low ball across all the way to Stevens. And would you believe it? The former Portsmouth left-back scores against Southampton in the League Cup in front of the Saints fans. He's only just come back to the side from injury. And Sheffield United have the lead against Saints in the eighth minute. The worst possible start to this cup tie. There's McBurney, it gets away from Lianco, plays it back and the ball fed through to Burke, who's gone round Salisu. Burke from the left puts it across the six-yard box from a narrow angle, trying to flick it past Forster. And Southampton will come away for the, with the ball, but after the early goal, a second warning shot. Valerie Preston got the ball back and a clever ball from Romeo to Rozier, just pushed and held out slightly wide. He's got support from Valerie outside him on this right-hand side, trying to drive into the box. Gives it back to Romeo. Good early cross, free header, and it's 1-1. And Saints have their equaliser, beautifully guided. There's no offside flag. I think Nathan Teller was looking for the offside yeah. flag. Teller and it scored. was it Teller who scored or Diallo? I'm not actually Teller. too sure from this angle. I thought Nathan Teller had arrived. Yeah, it but it's Teller. a nice little flicked header. The cross this time put in from Romeo was peachy. Hung in there and it is Ibrahima Diallo oh. with the goal. <laughs> now, Locals not happy as Ndai gets the ball off. Lianco wanted too much time through the legs of Sally Sue wide. And that really should have been 2-1 to Sheffield United. Lianco got caught in possession, robbed of the ball. He wanted too much time to make his mind up. McBurney tussled with him. It's taken off him by Ndai. And as he gets into the box and cuts in from the left-hand side, he just puts it past the post when he was easier to sweep it into the back of the net. Long clearance from Fodringham. And it's headed back into the Saints' half. Referee's blown his whistle. What's he seen here? What's going on? But Bernie's gone in on Valerie, who pushes him away. Has an elbow gone up here? What has the referee seen that perhaps we haven't, Joe, or you, I haven't, or you haven't? Did you see no, anything I, there? Um, that happened when the ball was uh, headed forward. Uh, I think somebody must have got an arm up or something and upset someone else. Nathan Redmond's having a word. Ollie McBurney's in trouble here. Now, referee John Brooks, yellow cards him, doesn't red card him. Have you seen the clock, by the way, Joe? I just looked up and it was 45-43 and I thought we've had more than 40 seconds and now it's 45 as a shambles. Gineppo into the box, that same end that he scored his famous goal in. Yes, Sheffield United appealing for an offside, a handball, everything. They've got the free kick, even though Broja lashed the ball into the net, they'd stopped playing already. And yeah. they have a free kick inside their own box. Good one play still. down the left side. Genefo is involved, gets into uh, Teller, has a shot, hits Brocha in the middle, and he picks it up and scores, but uh, he's clearly offside. Kraus, he will come back to this near side, plays a clever ball back down the line for Genepo. Osborne staying with him, he's got help on the outside from Perro. Perro with the low ball in, Fodringham half parries it away. Goes back out to Diallo, his shot deflects off Norwood, another Southampton corner. Ah, this is better, and Perro makes a proper run, and this is what we asked Valerie to do first half, make a run before the pass is passed. Yeah, hold, holds defenders, and there's the goal! And Mohamed Salisu has his first goal! Came in from the right low, not dealt with, and he's just side-footed it in the big Ghanaian. So Diallo, who signed last summer, last year gets his first goal. Salisu, who signed last summer, gets his first goal. Low ball in, and it's a neat side-foot finish from Teller's cross from the byline from the short corner. Simple as you like, 2-1 Southampton. Now James Ward-Prowse to Romeo, still on the edge of his own penalty area squares it across the D, loose pass that's poor from Lianco they have it back, Sheffield United, McBurney on the back post, 2-2 Lianco looks to the skies 
He made the mistake and it's all square at Bramall Lane again. The Brazilian on his debut, having battled with McBurney all night, he makes the mistake that leads to McBurney's equaliser. Right. Sheffield United 2, Southampton 2. We win the ball back, we play it simple. James ward prowse win the ball back, plays it to Romeo, plays it to Leonco on the, le- on the right side. He then tries to play it into James ward prowse doesn't hit him at all. Nice cross on the back and... Uh, and uh, Mac Burney has a simple task of putting that in. He, he's just hoping for a miracle for Forster to, to save that. Long ball swept from right to left to Perro. Now Perro back on the pitch, puts a great ball in. Oh, and what a fantastic save! Oh, my oh, goodness me! What a ball! I thought in Shea Adams Perreault. was going to score with his first touch, and he was trying to just turn it in from the most perfect cross from the left. Perro chested it down, whipped it in, Adams with the right foot volley, had to score, and Fodringham made a fantastic save, low to his left, reaction save to stop him, flicked on by Brozier, a little slip, and then Brozier nicks in again, he's done really well there, now he's racing down the right, Adams bombs in towards the penalty area, Brozier's still going, Gineppo holds out, Adams gets there, and again, he's just millimetres away oh. from winning the game. It's a low ball from Brozier. How's he not touched it? It's gone between him and Fodringham, and away to safety for the Blades. Two openings for Shea Adams. Ball out on this near side for Saints throw, near halfway. Perro gets it back off Ward Prowse, but he's easily dispossessed by Sheffield United, and Brewster just whacks it up to Forster, and the referee says, that is that. We are heading for a penalty shootout here at Bramall Lane. James Ward-Prowse being roundly booed around Bramall Lane. He will take the first penalty away to our right in front of the empty seats away to our right. And Wes Fodringham, who kept the blades in it late on with a great save, will face him. Ward-Prowse, right-footed, smashes it past Fodringham, high into the right-hand side of the net. And penalties are underway, and Captain Dependable has started penalties in perfect fashion. Here comes the first Sheffield United penalty. I think it's Norwood. I just looked down at the wrong time. Right-footed, same area, lower one, into the inside netting. And Norwood, as both captains take their kicks successfully, get their sides off to a start. Now, the boos are for Shea Adams, the former blade who is lining up the second penalty, and the way his night's gone, I'm worried about this penalty. I think he'll be so, all right. Oh, he'll be Fodringham all right. bounces, Adams, slow, under Fodringham, scores again to the same side. All the penalties have gone to the keeper's right so far. Brewster waits, Fraser Forster stands still in the middle of his goal. Away to our right, here comes Rianne Brewster. Oh, it's a little scoff and a skip and a jump, and a save! Fraser Forster saves it. Brewster wanted a little bit of little bit of dressage from the Olympics in his run-up, and Fraser Forster said, forget about that, son, this one's going round the post. Here comes Armando Brozier, Saints with one advantage. He gets saved! Oh, dear. Southampton's third penalty. Good save from Fodringham, but again, it was keeper height, too close to the centre of the goal. Here's Osborne. This to level things up after three kicks if he scores it. It'll be two out of three each. Osborne left-footed, smashes it high down the middle as Forster dives. We are all square at Bramall Lane. Can Diallo slot this to give Saints the advantage again? Right-footed into the corner as cool as you like. That was a Joe Teston penalty. OK, everybody, it's Ollie McBurney. And I know at home you want him to miss this as much as I do. He's a pain in the backside to Saints all night. Right-footed McBurney, saved by Fraser Forster! Saints have the advantage with four penalties gone for each side. McBurney looks to the ground. Forster has saved his second penalty of the shootout. Here we go, Oriol Romeo to put Saints through. Right-footed, sends the keeper the right way. The wrong way! <laughs> that, that was my, more my penalty, uh, Adam. I suppose he did send him the right way, but Saints are through to the fourth round of the League Cup. It all ends in smiles, everybody, thankfully across the South, because they've done the job.